Dr. Joy. And I'm Dr. Kim. And we're here at the Apocalypse Research Center, where we take a look at our own eminent demise. But Joy, whatever do you mean? We're all gonna die? Whoa, slow down there, Sparky. We're not all gonna die yet. But by the looks of things, if we don't change the way the industrialized world is acting, we just might. But Joy, whatever do you mean? How are we gonna die? Well, there is a veritable plethora of man-made disasters I can cite. But in the interest of time, let's take a quick look at what some experts are calling the oil crisis. No matter how you slice it, our industrial society gets most of its energy from non-renewable fossil fuels. We burn it in cars, we burn it in power plants, and we burn a lot of it. If there were no fossil fuels, life as we know it could not exist. The global population is rising, meaning there are more people competing for energy resources. A report from the International Energy Agency predicts that most demand will increase by 53% by 2030. Most of the increase will come from countries like China and India, who are rapidly developing. When people speculate about the future of oil, they talk about the oil supply not being able to keep up with the growing demand. Let's ask an economist. There is a certain price producers will expect for their product based on their own costs. And there is a certain price consumers will pay based on their needs. As we run out of easily accessible oil fields, oil companies will go after the oil deposits that are more difficult to access, which drives up the price of production, which results in higher prices. A mathematical model called Hubbard's Peak can be used to describe the yields of an oil field over time, and experts believe that it can also be applied to predict the rate of global oil production. Hubbard's Peak predicts that the rate of oil production will increase until about half of the oil in the earth has been extracted. After that, production will drop off. If this model is correct, the question is when we will hit the peak and enter decline. Some scientists believe we hit the peak in 2005, others believe it is much later. People can guess at how much oil is left in the earth based on geological evidence, but it's all speculation until we have drilled everywhere. To summarize the research to date, mankind has already used about one trillion barrels of oil. Some scientists believe there are two trillion barrels in the earth total, meaning we've already reached the peak of production. The optimists say there are three trillion barrels of oil in the earth, and while this is better, it only pushes the peak forward about 30 years. All right, Joy, you convinced me. Oil's a big problem, but what can we do? I'm not in politics. Well, regardless of politics, as our oil supply declines, we will either have to find other sources of energy or change our lifestyle. But how? Solar power? Yeah, that's a great form of alternative energy. Alternative energy sources is one path out of our oily grave. However, what we really need to do is change the culture of oil. So the Hummer's got to go. Exactly. Even now, hybrid cars and other energy-efficient products are increasingly available. If you're interested in what you can do, here are some places where you can find more information. All right, I'll, I'll check out those sources. So you're saying there's hope? Yes, Cameron, there's hope. <laughs>